Hello everybody, we're on chapter 10.5 here, phase diagrams. Make sure you've got your notes and your homework set out. We're going to talk about these things that we mentioned already once this year, so this should be a short video. If you remember, a phase diagram is a graph of pressure versus temperature that shows the conditions under which under which the phases of a substance exist. So as temperature increases, obviously we go from solid all the way to gas. Then as pressure increases, things also change as well. Okay, notice again, solid on the left, liquid in the middle, vapor or gas on the bottom or right. All right, so you guys keep looking at that graph. That triple point indicates the temperature and pressure conditions at which the solid, liquid, and vapor of the substance can coexist at equilibrium. Guys, on that graph above, or on the page back, sorry, that's point A. Point A is your triple point. I'll try to link a video back to um, share with you guys that shows you what it looks like when water is at all three phases. That means you've got ice, you've got steam, and you've got liquid all at the same point. It's pretty cool. Notice the phase boundary between liquid and gas does not continue indefinitely. At some point, you're not going to be able to tell if it's a liquid or a gas. This is called the critical point, point C on the graph. This shows you that at extremely high temperatures and pressure, pressures, the liquid and gas phases become indistinguishable. You don't know what you've got. And we call this a supercritical fluid. Supercritical fluid once you go past that point in either pressure or <coughs> um, temperature. Excuse me. So you're hopefully looking at the phase diagram for carbon dioxide. I'm going to switch my slide over. Okay, so here we see carbon dioxide. And if you'll go back to my PowerPoint alone, you can click on this and get a cool little video, if it's still there, of liquid carbon dioxide, which is not something you see very often, but it's kind of cool. Now, again, solid and liquid and gas. Your triple point here for CO2 occurs at negative 56.6 degrees Celsius and you've got to be at five times atmospheric pressure. Guys, that's like five atmospheres pressing down on us. That's a lot of atmospheres. That's a lot of pressure. We would probably be squished. Just saying. Over here on the right, your critical point, once you hit just 31 degrees Celsius and 72 atmospheres, really hard to do, you hit the critical point, okay? All right, just a couple of side notes. The critical temperature for any compound that we show you in a phase diagram is the temperature above which the substance cannot exist in the liquid state. The critical pressure is the lowest pressure at which the substance can exist as a liquid. So it's all dependent on this liquid state, okay? That's about it, guys. You should be on homework set 10-5. Check online to see which numbers you need to do. You are done with Chapter 10. If you have any questions, use your textbook. The textbook is actually really good for this chapter because there's not a whole lot of problem solving to do, okay? We're still in Chapter 10. You can read through. If you um, find anything you have questions about, save it until the next time we get to FaceTime. Okay?